the Lamborghini 350 GT. Back in 1964, the first sports car branded with the Bull logo came onto the market. Its mission, to run rings around Ferrari's horse. Our tester, Christoph Bauer, says the legend surrounding the birth of the Lamborghini 350 GT is one of the most famous anecdotes in automotive history. Ferruccio Lamborghini owned a profitable tractor factory and a Ferrari 250 GT, but he wasn't really happy with the car. He told Enzo Ferrari why, right to his face. Ferrari retorted that Lamborghini should stick to making tractors. Lamborghini was so angry that he founded his own company, Automobili Lamborghini, and introduced his own supercar, the 350 GT. The new company was based in Santa Gata Bolognese, in Italy's Emilia-Romana region, barely 20 kilometers away from Ferrari's headquarters in Maranello. And that's where the ambitious Ferruccio Lamborghini poached his top managers. Christoph says there's a world of distance between tractors and supercars, but Ferruccio Lamborghini was very lucky that, at the time, Ferrari's development department was in a dispute with their boss. So Lamborghini was able to hire away three of Ferrari's best technicians. They developed the 350 GT and left Ferrari eating their dust. The media sang the 350 GT's praises, calling it the best, most refined supercar ever. A real slap in the face for Enzo Ferrari. In 1964, just two years after the founding of Automobili Lamborghini, the 350 GT made its debut at the Geneva Motor Show. Its stunning body was shaped by Milan-based coach builder Carrozzeria Tore. Que bella machina, Christoph gushes. He's blinded by its beauty. The instruments, the leather upholstery, everything's of the finest quality. But it's the car's profile that impresses him most. Its elongated front and the filigree roof. He tells us it is built using the legendary Superleggera construction method, which employs a lightweight aluminium body and a space frame to ensure stability, the perfect ingredients for a supercar. In spite of the powerful 12-cylinder engine under the hood, the Lamborghini weighs in at just under 1,200 kilos, less than a current model VW Golf. Inside the Lamborghini, more is more. There are more instruments, more switches, more displays, yet the result is still ergonomic. Drivers enjoy all the comforts without sacrificing performance. But as Christoph notes, the lifeblood of every Lamborghini is found here, under the hood. And it's a fabulous, a 12-cylinder, 280 horsepower engine with 3.5 litres of cubic capacity. Christoph says Ferruccio Lamborghini insisted that each engine be tested for 20 hours. Only then was it installed in the car. The quiet 12-cylinder is a real feast for the eyes and was state-of-the-art at the time. For its engine alone, the Lamborghini 350 GT is deserving of a place in Wolfsburg's Zeithaus Museum. The Zeithaus boasts a collection of around 100 still functioning classic and vintage vehicles that represent milestones in automotive history. Ferruccio Lamborghini owned almost every supercar produced in the 1950s and 60s but he felt that these domesticized race cars lacked creature comforts and that their engines didn't run smoothly enough. He was determined that the first Lamborghini would change all that. Christoph says the 350 GT is easy to handle and has a very broad power band. When taking curves fast, he says it first shifts slightly over the front wheels and then gently swings out at the back. While the Ferraris of the time still used rigid axles, the Lamborghini had independent suspension and coil springs on every wheel. Und hier gibt's schon Einzelradaufhängung und Schraubenfedern an jedem Rad. But so much high tech had its price. Back in 1967, the 350 GT sold for the equivalent of 30,000 euros, enough to buy three Porsche 911 Ts. But then, 12 cylinders never cut cheap. 
And Christoph says this one is an absolute masterpiece. Incredibly smooth and quiet, but packing a real punch at four or 5,000 RPM. It goes from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in seven seconds and hits a top speed of 240 kilometers an hour. Christoph finds it an impressive machine, even by today's standards. Little wonder that many experts call the 350 GT the best classic Lamborghini. And it's the car that Ferruccio Lamborghini like to drive most, more than the Miura or the Kunta. But then, other than their V12 engines, these later and more radical successor models didn't have much in common with the 350 GT. It was the one Lamborghini that managed to be both a devilishly fast supercar and an elegant Gran Turismo. Christoph says the 350 GT isn't as flashy as Lamborghini's later, more spectacular models, and it wasn't a big seller either. Just 141 of them changed hands between 1964 and 1967. Still, the 350 GT established Lamborghini as a supercar maker and was unrivaled in its time. Christoph feels it's a true automotive milestone. Today, a 350 GT in good condition will set you back at least 220,000 euros, around the same price you'd pay for a Ferrari from the same era.